Uh, so here's our situation. Uh, we have a form here. Find uh, first 1,000 prime number. So we have a text box, a button, a progress bar, and a status label. So let's just test. So when we click the button, it will display the uh, first 1,000 prime and the progress. So our goal uh, will be uh, what if we could combine the process or the functionality of the button and the progress bar. Uh, basically, we will create a new uh, control. So to start, we will add a new class. Let's call it custom progress bar. Let's just add a new form uh, where we could test it. Uh, let's make the class public and we will inherit the uh, user control. Let's set the constructor. Uh, we'll set its size. And also the minimum size. Uh, next, we need to override the uh, paint uh, method. So basically, we will draw the control. So first, the base circle. So let's just give it a color of something like grayish. And a pen with width of 20. And we will draw a circle. So let's uh, test. Uh, we'll just add it on the toolbox. So it shows now. Uh, I think we need to uh, adjust the height and width. So we need to subtract the width of the pen 20. Uh, maybe we could uh, adjust it more. So much better looking now. Also, we need to uh, move the the value into a variable so that we could uh, easily adjust if we never we need. And next, we will add the embossed effect. So basically, we will just add the subtle uh, effect. So first is the darker color. So next is the lighter color, so white, color white, and we, wa we will just adjust the X and Y. So let's test. So there it is. You can notice it in the upper left and the lower right portion. Uh, next step, we will add the 
progress motion. So basically, we will use a linear, a linear gradient brush. So first, uh, we will use a uh, much uh, darker color. And the next one is uh, it a shade of green. So basically green. So 5-5. Five, five. Oops, uh, let's just fix this. Also, let's make it a global, a global variable. Uh, let's start on the 90 degrees. So, on the uh, bottom part. And we will add a calculation. So, let's just add some properties. So, max 100 and the value. Uh, for now, let's just add the 75 value in it and let's test so there it is so i think we change, we need to change the edge so much rounder i think it's much better looking So let's rebuild again. So there it is. Round edge. The next, uh, let's check if our calculation is working. So we just need to close and reopen. So uh, there's something wrong. So I think we need to round uh, this one. Let's just rebuild. So there it is. Uh, but there are some um, uh, there are some pixelation on the graphics. So let's just remove it. So there it is. And and now uh, let's remove the uh, one hundred. So there it is. Uh, next, we will uh, display the progress value in the center of our uh, control. So, let's just uh, give it a, a darker color. So, draw string. So, basically, the value, uh, we will uh, paint that. So for now, let's just uh, give it a default font. And next, we will create a calculation to make sure that the uh, that it will be painted on the center of our control.
So basically, we just need to uh, subtract the width of the control uh, minus the uh, font and divide it by 2. The same with height. So now let's test. So 0. Now let's try uh, 75. There it is. Uh, next, let's try 100. So, there it is. And there is some pixelation on the text. So, let's just uh, remove that. So there it is. Uh, let's just rem remove the 100. Next step, uh, we will add a new property, default text. Let's just give it a value, a default value, run. So basically, we will display it first uh, before we show the actual value. Or whenever the value is equal to 0, uh, we will display the default text. So let's just add a shorthand uh, if else statement. So let's just test. So there it is. Run. Uh, let's try 75. So it's working. Uh, lastly, we will add the public method uh, name uh, perform step. So just like on the uh, progress bar. So basically, we will just call this method to run the progress uh, after we set the value. Uh, we will now build the project. So let's just uh, remove the controls. Let's just resize it and add the uh, custom progress bar. Uh, let's just assign it. Uh, Uh, click event let's just build to check if there are errors so let's just remove this And let's just uh, change the control. So, uh, custom progress bar. And also, call the uh, perform step uh, method. So, 
Now let's test. Oh, there's a flickering. So uh, we will go back to our uh, class and we will set on the constructor uh, double buffer true. So let's rebuild again and run. So there it is. I think we need to remove the message box. And there you go.